I am showing you something different today than what I usually do. So I am going to show you my book journal that I've been working on. Um, I read so much that I have trouble remembering everything I read. So I thought this was a good way to remember all the books I read. <coughs> I only wish I'd started this years and years and years ago. Uh, I'm going to put an index on these two pages. I just haven't started it yet. Um, this is my books read. So you can see I'm starting to fill it in. I've got a few titles in here. Um, I may have to do another page because I don't know if this will be enough these are my TBRs, so uh, books to read, and I've got a number of them on here. I've got a few that I've already checked off. I'm also doing, hoping to do, a A to Z, um, but I have a question. The T, when you have a book that starts with the is that what you count for tea? Because almost all of my books are, are start with the, it seems. So let me know what you think in the comments. So the first book I have in here, so these ones are just blank pages. The first book I have in here is 1984 by George Orwell. Um, if you haven't read this book, highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, actually, it's a little frightening considering what's going on in the world today. Uh, so yeah, it, you know what? It's, it could be mirroring this book so easily and, uh, or where we, where the government wants us to be at some point. Um, so yeah, frightening book, excellent book. Oh, Pride and Prejudice. So this is Jane Austen. Who doesn't love a good Jane Austen? Um, I will admit I watched the movie before I read the book, uh, but absolutely loved the book. Uh, here's my layouts for The Shining. So I had the, uh, the mirror put in there. Uh, there's my pull card with a quote or two, just my summary of the book. I like this layout. It's fun. Okay, so here is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I love these layouts. I have my favorite quotes in here. Um, you're going to see other houses, not just Gryffindor, because I have been reading the other books too. This is Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. Love. No, you know what? This book infuriated me. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was so mad the characters in this book were just terrible people. And so it was just so infuriating the entire time. Um, so, oh, and this is just a, a little family tree thing that I did with the, uh, the people involved. This is Stolen Tongues by Felix Blackwell. It was a pretty good book. I enjoyed it. Um... Yeah, it was a good book. I liked it. This is one of my favorite authors. Okay, so I, I really love uh, romance. And this is like a... I don't even know what you'd call this. Uh, fairy tale type romance. It's It's got, you know, some fae stuff in it. Um, obviously, you've got the vampires and what have you. And uh, this is also uh, Cressley Cole. Same series. And this is No Rest for the Wicked. Um... Then I read uh, The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. Loved this book. It was such a good book. I really enjoyed this book. Very nicely, nicely written. I even did some uh, wax impressions with my wax stamp molds. Here we have The Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. Uh, so this is the second book in the series. I will be reading them all. I, I Honestly, I've read all of these books. Um, but I am rereading them because I now have a scratch-off poster um, of top 100 books to read. And this one was on it. Or some of these were on it. So this is also on my... Uh, 
100 books to read. This is The Stand by Stephen King. I read the extended version. And uh, whew, it was a big book. This is Wicked Deeds on a Winter's Night by Cressley Cole. So same author as the as the Warlord Wants Forever and No Rest for the Wicked. Excellent book. I, this is probably one of my favorites of hers. This is Lord of Flies by William Golding. I, I read this in, in, high, in school and uh, I, I liked it then, but it's also on my top 100 books to read. So hence reading it again. I don't know about you guys, but I don't, because I read so much, I don't mind rereading books because I don't remember everything anyways. This is uh, Lady Audley's Secret. Excellent book, by the way. I, uh, I really loved this book for, it, really good book. It's also on my top 100 books to read, as is Uncle Tom's Cabin. Harriet Beecher Stowe loved this book. I just bawled at the end of this book. Not even going to lie. Such, such a good book. Uh, this is The Last Sin Eater. Um, heavy uh, Christian influence in this book, um, as was Uncle Tom's Cabin. Excellent book, too, by the way. Uh, this is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I did a 3D pop-up um, thing for this one. I'm, I, I'll, honestly, it wasn't my favorite book, um, but... Uh, it was a fun layout to do, so uh, that's what I did. But, yeah. So that's where I'm at so far. And uh, drop me a line. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm hoping to do another update. Uh, probably not for, not until December, I don't think. Uh, just because um, they do take time and reading takes time. Thanks so much, though.